Hello, ladies and gentlemen, you beautiful, beautiful people, to some Planet Coaster today. Oh, baby. We're going to be showing you some community creations uh, with Planet Coaster Alpha 3. It's absolutely blowing my mind how cool some of this stuff is. Like, it's literally just wow. Uh, just to put it into perspective, this is something I built. Let me just load this up for you in, like, what, half an hour, 20 minutes? And I'm just showing you this to put it into perspective what the community's made. So this was my first little park here. I tried to make a very quick little uh, entrance area. As you can see, I've got some trees. I've got some nice little buildings here. They look kind of cool. You know, I, I, I tried. Okay, I've got a couple of rides as well. This is kind of cute, I suppose. And uh, I should also say this is actually on the challenge mode, which I'm kind of tempted to do a series on. But anyway, that's what I can do in about 20 minutes. But let's show you what the community done can do, even, uh, with as much time as they like. It is ridiculous. We've got, I think, four or five creations to show you today. Oh my god. So that, that was mine. Let's go ahead and show you what the community's made. There was five. Okay, so we're going to start off with this one here. This is a park entrance. I've got two park entrances. Uh, two kind of completed parks, and then we got the creme de la creme of the day and a special surprise, and it's right at the end. So, uh, yes, here we go. So this is called, uh, um, well, I'm going to call it a Main Street Entrance, and it's a really nice way to start a park. Back in the Rollercoast Tycoon 2 days, if you ever played the game, if you haven't, I suggest you go and play it because it was amazing. Um, you had a little entrance that you were given. And you kind of built off of that. Now, if you want that, and you don't want to just start from, like, back here with, like, a path, this is a really nice way to kind of introduce your park. I mean, look at this. Let me just press T to go into free cam. Look at the detail in these buildings, man. Each of these are individually placed, like, let me just click edit here. Just to give you an indication, the level of craziness this guy's gone to. Like, so these are all individual pieces. Then we've got individual pieces there. This clock, that, the roof. The window, that, and, and no one told him how to build this, you know? This was all him, or she, I should say, being ridiculously creative and just, like, making a really beautiful, um, freaking entrance, Main Street entrance, like in uh, Disneyland and whatnot. So we've got the path in the middle, and then we've got the path along the side, so the people can walk underneath and take a look around. Oh, it's just really cool. Really impressive. Looks gorgeous as well. And then we've got this nice little teacup ride. And this is where I presume you would go off and build your park. It's a really nice way to start. And uh, if you're like me and sometimes you just need a really uh, quick way or quick fix on like that. A little bit of creativeness at the beginning just to get you started. Um, you know, authors say the hardest paragraph is the first paragraph. Uh, so once you got this, you should be on your way to create something cool. So I thought this was really nice, really well presented, and functional as well. So very, very cool. Really like it, and it's awesome. All right, so next up is really, really cool. And there's a very specific reason why I think this is amazing. Not only is it kind of amazing because it's a freaking castle, and it's got like a moat. That's a new feature of water and stuff. Let me just pause it very quickly. Uh, not only have we got this kind of gorgeous... Oh, look at it. It's amazing. But the really cool thing about this is what you would normally get in these kind of creations is entrance over here and then someone's built that at the back and you kind of build towards it. Well, now you don't have to. And the reason is, is because your guests arrive to your park from inside of the castle. Look at this. This is amazing. So we've got this little underground bit here. And this is the kind of entrance that everyone will come through. And you kind of make your way out. And, um, yeah, they're in your kingdom. So it's really, really cool. You could kind of split this off into, se like, sections, like Pirate Cove that way, Fairy Tower Land that way, something random over this way. Be really, really cool. Absolutely love it. Um, but while we're here, let's talk about water, because this is a new feature of Alpha 2. Alpha 3, sorry. And what you do, very, very simple, build a little hole, for example. Grab the water tool and fill it up. There you go. You can fill up a little bit more, maybe. No. There you go. So that's water. Now, interesting little fact here. Uh, I just want to show you. Now, I don't know if the guys at Planet Coast will be happy about me highlighting this. Uh, but nevertheless, it's kind of interesting. And I think it's actually really impressive and uh, just shows the creativeness of the uh, development team. But there we go. Let's see. Let's just show you. Let's see what you guys think of it. So I'm just going to make what you can see here. 
Doesn't that look a penis? Shut up. Um, <laughs> we've got like a hole, okay? And we've got uh, like a gap for all our water. So now I'm going to fill up this entire sculpture thing, penis, giant penis thing with water, all right? I know it looks awful, but just bear with me. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drill through... And you guys might be like, okay, so what's going to happen now? Is the water going to pour out? Is it going to fill up the water to where we are? What's going to happen? Well, if you go through, nothing happens. And what actually this shows is the water in this game is actually a lie. Um, water is actually not an entity, and this is really good for performance purposes. And this is why I think it's impressive, because it looks amazing. It looks exactly like water, but the trick is, it's non-existent. Um, so what you can actually do, which is kind of weird, is you can actually fill up water multiple times and even go underneath it and fill it up again. Um, I don't know whether this is going to make the full release or this is just how it is, um, but it's definitely very, very interesting from a, like a developer standpoint. For me at least, I, th I think it's kind of... Ooh. Oh, that was interesting. <laughs> That's kind of cool. So you could probably do some weird fancy trick of... Sort of walking through water, have a path go through there, and you've got water either side. Don't know. Oh, wow. That's kind of picturesque. <laughs> That's kind of cool. But yeah, so this is really, really nice. I really like this park. Again, it's a good start for you to expand on. And um, yeah, just really, really nice. And obviously, we showed you the water. But let's show you the next creation, which is a little bit more built than this. All right, so here we go. Now, this looks incredible. Uh, so we've got the entrance here, fairly basic entrance, nothing too crazy. Um, although I do really like this kind of hub area with the kind of posters and the water feature. Like, this, like, this is really cool. Then we've got the incredible detail of these kind of pirate buildings. And the reason why this is, like, so impressive for me is because if you edit this building here, look. These little wood panels, they're just not like a wall. They've used a fence and just rotated it so it's on the side. It's just, ah, crazy. Absolutely crazy. Like, the detail this person has gone to is just mad. You crazy person. Uh, it's really nicely detailed. You've got all these uh, these chaps hanging out. And, oh, so good. You've got this little carousel. That's impressive. I, I really like how it's kind of built around. Like, a really nicely themed park. And this is where you guys can expand. You've got this bit over here, which is kind of interesting, over into that area. You've got this bit over to here. Another little area. Uh, you've got this ride. But you've got the creme de la creme here. Got this little pirate castle with a roller coaster. And uh, it's a really good ride, actually. Should we ride it? I think you guys will want to see it. So let's take a look. Uh, we do need to test it. So I'm going to click test. Uh, I'm going to hit unpause. And I'm going to hit ride camera. And boom. Let's go. It's pretty cool. I think this is a really awesome ride. Now, for me, awesome rides mean high speed barely making it over ledges, kind of really slowly, oh, we're not going to make it, and then you do make it, nice bank curves, loop-de-loops, underground, this coaster has it all, it's very, very cool, and actually, it has probably one of the coolest features in a coaster thing that I've seen anyone do, they've basically, woo, nice ride, I'll show you what they've done, but they've basically um, got it, so, whoa, here we go, underground, nice. Am I going faster? I don't remember the coaster to be in this fast before. This seems really fast. I don't know, maybe. Uh, but they've built props under the ground. Uh, and you'll see it in just a moment. I think we are going slightly faster than real time. We'll see when we come out. I might have pressed the two speed. Here we go, this is a good bit. Oh, I pause it. And now I can turn and look. Look, they've got a whole freaking... Uh, like little area here where they've built underground so when you come through it's like wow madness only a split second nice little touch I like it I like it it's really cool and you've got this bit I guess actually it's not yeah it is I can tell it's slightly faster because those cannons don't normally go that fast but I get whatever it doesn't matter nice little look at the park there and I think we go underground one more time it's just Really, really cool. There you go. Barely making it. Nice. Nice little loop the loop. Oh, we're going to make it. Oh, we made it. Nice. It's just so cool. I love this ride. Goes round the thing. This is a little bit scary. <laughs> through the flames, through the smoke. Loop the loop. Oh, another loop through the fire. Yeah, you're crispy now. And then that's the end. So 
So yeah, really, really cool. Oh no, I guess we were going real speed. Okay, well that was just faster than I remember. Weird. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, very, very cool park. Looks amazing with all these people. Look at that. How picturesque do you want it? You know, it's just amazing. Very cool. Um, so there's the Castle Coaster Park. Very, very cool. Like it a lot. Uh, but let's get on to... Oh, there's a skull there. Just noticed that. Let's get on to the next park. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is really, really impressive. I'm only going to very much skim this park because it's huge. But this is a 100% completed park for you to kind of look at and enjoy, I suppose. You wouldn't really build upon this, I don't think. Uh, but it's... Whoa! What just happened? My camera's drunk. Oh my god. They're barfing confetti. That's kind of fun. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so this park is uh, obviously in the desert, as you can see. And it's absolutely filled to the brim of coasters. This is really impressive. There's little rides in between the coasters. Um, this person has 100% finished this park. And uh, it's just really nice place to be. Look at it. It's just really nice. Like the coasters and stuff go on for ages. Let me know in the comment section if you're interested in me actually making a full video just for this specific park. Uh, but I just wanted to go over it very briefly and just show you what a completed park looks like. It's kind of amazing. Uh, it's just really, really impressive. The only thing that worries me, guys, and I know this is an alpha, so I shouldn't really think about it too much or worry about it. But the frames at the moment... We're currently at 30 frames per second, which is a little bit worrying because if you need that, if that's the performance hit you're going to get once you finish the park, that's kind of going to, that's really going to affect the game in my opinion. It's going to be a real shame. Um, but yeah, I, I hope that it's only because we're at an alpha stage right now and it's not because that's how it's going to be. Um, but yeah, this park is really, really impressive. It looks absolutely amazing. But like I said, let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a full overview of this entire park. Check out all the rides. I don't know. Uh, just go in more detail. Uh, but I know what you guys are waiting for. Let's get on and check out Hod Quartz. Alright, okay. Now I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've only ever seen the thumbnail. So I don't know how good this is going to be. I'm hoping, since we've come this far, it's going to be awesome. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Okay, that does look awesome. I'm really happy that looks awesome. Let me just pause it so we don't get a change in daylight. Oh my god. Holy crap. <laughs> Whoa, man. You check this out. Oh, that's incredible. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. How the hell? Oh my god, you even got... Holy shit, that's... Whoa. Uh, <laughs> that's so impressive. This is like a uh, universal, like universal. If you've ever been to like Universal Studios in America, it's very much like that. You've got like the little shops and this in the distance. You don't actually get to go up there, but there is a ride like at the end. Whoa, man, that that is really nice. Wow. Jeez, where does this go anywhere? It's a magical journey. No magical journey. You lied to me. Jeez, that is so cool. Please tell me there's like an Easter egg in here. Like Harry? Oh man, it'd be so good if there was like a little Easter egg in here somewhere. So inside, obviously, we're not seeing anything other than the inside. But I mean, come on. Even the buildings on the outside are like incredible. I'm... <laughs> okay... That's kind of interesting. I, like, I never really realized that the... I don't know what happened there. Is it all meant to be hickledy pickledy? That's a technical term for crazy. It actually kind of works. Now that I'm looking more closely. Looks kind of... It looks pretty good, actually. So these buildings aren't actually functional. Uh, they're like individual buildings. Just to make the place look kind of busy, I guess. Be kind of cool if we had some shops. Oh, we do have some shops there. Yeah. Well, this is... I'm glad I saved this till last because it's kind of amazing. Look at that. Look look how picturesque that is. You can't beat that, ladies and gentlemen. That is incredible. Oh, my God. Genius. Absolute genius. 
But there we go. That is Hogwarts inside of Planet Coaster. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know with a comment down below. Like the video if you made it this far. And um, yeah, I'll give you guys uh, a video very, very shortly. So make sure you're subscribed. Take care. Bye-bye.